Hi everyone, my name is Eric Mendelson, executive music producer, artist manager, and the CEO of Recordgram. There are millions of people around the world that have a burning desire to be a music artist. However, they either don't have access to quality producers or they can't afford to pursue a career in music. The solution to their problem is Recordgram. Recordgram is an all-in-one mobile production marketplace, a recording studio, and a social network that allows our users to create original songs with award-winning music producers for under $5 all from the palm of their hand. Our users can discover beats, they can write songs to those beats, they can record songs to those beats, and they can also shoot a video to that song that they just created, and they could share it across all of their social networks, including Recordgram social networks, instantly turning their friends into fans. Recordgram breaks down barriers and empowers anyone, regardless of where they live in the world or how much money they have, the ability to awaken their inner musician. So let's meet one of those musicians. Meet producer Tony Fad. Tony comes from a small town in Russia. He owns expensive studio equipment and he makes great beats. But the problem for Tony is that he doesn't have relationships with artists to sell his production. So he uploads his beats across all the online platforms and he even gives them away for free in the hopes of getting discovered. Now let's meet our other consumer and another artist, Willie, the artist from New Jersey. Willie doesn't have a lot of money. Apparently, Willie's chains must be fake. He's always dreamed of working with his favorite music producer, but he doesn't have access to them. And even if Willie did, he wouldn't be able to afford their production. So he downloads and plays with karaoke apps, but he's not satisfied because he's unable to create original music until Willie discovers Recordgram. Recordgram solves both Tony and Willie's problems. We're the user-friendly, convenient, and affordable solution that connects producer Tony with aspiring artist Willie. The bottom line is we make money for producers like Tony, and we provide access and save money for guys like Willie. Now, I know this may seem like a great hypothetical use case, but it's actually a true story. Today, Willie goes by the artist named Fetty Wap. He's one of hip-hop's biggest artists. He's had five top 10 records over the last year. His gold chains are actually real. And, he, and his first single was produced by Tony, who he discovered through an online platform. The power of Recordgram is being able to bring that collaboration and discovery process to the mobile device so producers like Tony and artists like Willie can discover and collaborate with one another. So now, I want to demo you the product. Standing to my left are my two co-founders. I have uh, Grammy award-winning music producer DJ Blackout, and I have multi-platinum recording artist Mims, who's going to show you how the platform works. Take it away, guys. So we're going to go to the music page, where we're going to find a beat. Let's find a track. You guys maybe want to talk us through what should be happening? So, Use our imagination. So the beat that he's playing is actually... So now that Mims discovered his beat, he can record his vocals to it to create an original song. So Mims, let's show him how to create an original song. We coming live from TechCrunch. I go by the name of Mims, AKA Mr. This Is Why I'm Hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. I'm hot cause I'm fly. You ain't cause you not. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. I'm hot cause I'm fly. You ain't cause you not. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. Now that Mims has created his song, he can also take it a step further and shoot a video to it, all within Recordgram, which he can then share across his mobile platforms. Could we get a better connection for this? I know. Could we get a better connection, or could we get a better connection? Yeah, we live right now. I go by the Hey. Hey, it goes, this is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why, this is why, this is why. So let's show them how to shoot a video right now. 
normally we don't have all these different wires that are plugged into this at one And time. we are at a wild card, so I don't think they were ready for this. <laughs> so. Take a little bit of the mm -hmm. responsibility, that's all right. So let's just say he creates a video. We basically charge, let's go to, uh, yeah. We charge producers $9.99 a month or $90 a year to upload our beats to our platform. And when those beats are leased or sold through our platform, we take 20% of the in-app purchase and we provide 50% of the royalties back to the producer. We currently have 10 uh, affiliate marketing companies out there in the music space that are helping promote our application. And we also have eight field reps in major markets across the country that are our evangelists promoting record gram at conferences and events just like this with artists and producers. We also have established relationships with the following celebrities you see on the screen. And we believe that when these celebrities reach out to their fans, their fans are going to react and they're going to react by downloading the record gram app. Our competitors are either web-based production marketplaces, meaning they're not mobile, or they uh, are heavily, heavily reliant on major label licensing. I'm sure everyone knows about Musical.ly and Auto Rap by Smule. Musical.ly has 120 million users. They just raised $100 million at, a, I think, a billion dollar valuation to give you an idea on the market size. Smule just raised $50 million. Um, they have a $600 million valuation. I think that they're about to IPO. The difference between us and our competitors is that we're not relying on major label licensing because we're an original content platform. Um, so that's, that's the main difference between us and, and our competitors. Um, we have established relationships, obviously, with award-winning music producers and artists. Um, the gentleman who you see on the street screen is Street Runner. He's a, also a Grammy award-winning music producer who's produced for Lil Wayne, Eminem, and countless others. Um, the co-founders that you see on the stage, um, we are all executives in the music industry. We've collectively signed four artists to major labels, grossing over $20 million over the last five years. Um, we're poised to disrupt the music industry, and we believe that Recogram is the app to do so. Um, we, in 2016, we were part of Project Music. Let's wrap it up. Uh, last final thought. Yeah, we were uh, one of six companies selected for Project Music in 2016. The companies that have invested in Project Music are some of the biggest music publishing companies, record labels in the music industry, and they all have a vested interest in watching us succeed. We believe that the phone is becoming the new television. We also believe that the phone is a new recording studio. Today at TechCrunch, with your vote, that's possible. Please visit recordgram.com and download recordgram.com and download recordgram today. Thanks for your time. All right, Spencer. So there's probably no word you like hearing more, or no, no word you like hearing less than copyright, excuse right. me. Right. Um, and certainly no word that the music industry likes less than that. Um, how do you screen for copyrighted material? How do you deal with it? Yeah, great question. So the producer owns 100% of the beat. It's a, it's a leasing platform. So the users cannot download the record off the platform and upload it to like iTunes or YouTube or SoundCloud. They share it as a link on Facebook, in Instagram, and, and Twitter. Um, the producer maintains 100% of the copyright. Um, if the song happens to blow up or if the artist wants to buy the exclusive rights to that beat, then they can come back to record. What about the other side, though? In terms, of, in terms of publishing content that's not yours and trying to monetize it. Right, so we have, a, you know, we attach IRSRC codes to all the content in our platform, um, and, which is kind of a similar way that YouTube tracks for content ID. So we do have a regulation process, and as soon as we get notified if there is a violation, we can pull it down. Um, by the way, I have to say, you guys must be the coolest team to have demoed here. <laughs> kind of, um, so one Thank thing you. that fascinates me in this space is that there are all these creation tools like Splice, uh, Fruity Loops all the way to like an Ableton style, like yep. high-end stuff. And then there are marketplaces, BeatStars, the new blockchain yep. stuff. You guys have chosen to compete with both spaces, right? And there are established players in both. Like, why compete with both the musical creation as well as the marketplace? So we believe that online marketplaces are outdated. We believe that web-based applications are, are of the past and everything is going mobile. Um, in terms of Splice and the other companies that you named, Splice is obviously an amazing app, but those are really for more professional musicians. This application is developed for the 8-year-old, 10-year-old, 12-year-old kid who can't afford to get in a studio, who doesn't understand recording software, doesn't know how to use Splice. These are the kids that are on Musical.ly and, and, and Smule apps that have a burning desire to be a musician. They come to our app to create original music and to take their career to the next level. Matt? Yeah, first of all, this is very cool. Uh, forgive me if that's a... Uh naive question, but what's the fundamental advantage of mobile 
I mean, don't, don't people that create music spend hours and hours in their, on their computer? Isn't mobile like more clunky to actually produce something that's professional level? No, well, well, so, the, so the answer to your question is it's convenience and it's user friendly. Um, it's actually way easier to getting into a recording studio, way cheaper and way more convenient. Um, this product was developed not just for us in America where we have tons of recording studios, it was developed for international customers and users. So we, we visit countries like Dubai all the time and there's maybe two or three recording studios in that whole rich country if you can believe it. This application allows anyone to record music in your chairs right now um, without having to get into a studio or understand complex recording software. We've developed this app to simplify all the things that you spoke about earlier into a one mobile application. So do you think of this as more for like fan engagement or for artists who actually might want to create a track that they want to release commercially? Uh, I, I guess it's a combination of both because we are a social network, but when we developed Recogram, it was really for the utility factor to create a, a collaboration utility tool to connect our, uh, you know, he's a Grammy award winning music producer. He charges $10,000 for his beats exclusively. Through Recogram, you get it for three bucks or even free. You know, how about that? So it's really, uh, you know, there might be a kid in India, for example, who wants to collaborate with him but can't get a hold of him. Through Recogram, the process is one, one, one button function. So if I'm a, a creator, let's say, you know, I want to be the next Metro Boomin, which I have, like, no skills or background in, <laughs> um, what's stopping me from, like, creating a beat here and then uploading it to SoundCloud, uploading to YouTube, where there's, like, a mass audience and there's, like, a platform? Like, what's stopping me from doing that? Which, if you're a producer? Yes. There's, we want you to put your beats on all, these, on all these different platforms, but we're the only platform that's going to help you monetize that beat. Because if Metro Boomin, who charges 20000 for an exclusive beat, if he puts his beat and leases it through our platform to 30,000 users for just one buck, he's making $30,000 on back catalog that's collecting dust. Um, and we are actually working on getting Metro Boomin on the platform, and I'm impressed you know who that is. Mark, He's very question. fashionable, this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering, you know, let's assume I want to use the platform. How do you match me with the producers? How do you help me or sit up to me and just listen to a bunch of people? Yeah, so we have, uh, there's tools through the app that you can filter through different genres. So if you want to, you know, uh, sing over a country song or rap over hip hop, we give you those tools. And we also enable the producers to market and promote themselves through the application and through their other social networks. But we're not going to have really an interaction with you about, you know, your musical career. But we do have um, high ranking A&Rs and even presidents of some major record labels that are scattering talent on our platform right, right. now. So if you actually really want to pursue a career in music and you oh, upload yeah. your songs to it, we can discover you and help take you to that next level. That's how I found my team. What's that? I found my team. There you go. Launched my career. Next Justin Bieber right here. <laughs> Any uh, final questions? All right, give it up one more time for Thanks, Rebecca everyone. Graham. Pretty sure they're the first Grammy winning wildcard startup.